Hello and welcome to Sketch Day Live. What's up? It's me, Spencer, again. It is Liquid Friday, as we do here. Um, I got some spicy margarita thing going. Hopefully you're having a good day, ready to draw, do some of this stuff. So I was scanning through my emails and I only got one sketch to redo. So I think I'm just gonna do my own thing. So if you guys ever wanna submit, let me know. Turn up this, there we go. So let me know if you guys are interested at some point, but for now I'm going to just do what I wanna do. Thanks for joining, hanging out. What's up, Raul, Svetlana, hello, hello. Busy as always, yesterday was crazy. For me anyways. Just gonna warm up here, I need to sketch faster. There we go. A little bit faster. I'm using a paper made flare. It is kind of drying out. Anyhow, so I didn't get too many submissions. I got a birthday cake, so I could sketch a cake. And then I got some sort of camera on, looks like some sort of mount or armature from Nather. 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 But yeah, maybe you guys were nervous submitting stuff but in any case if you have ideas suggestions I'll probably take one of those today during the show if you want to make suggestions youtube.com slash is where you want to be that's where I'll be watching the chat and responding to the chat we're also live on the Instagram at the same time so if you caught this, nice, thank you, hello. But only taking suggestions on the YouTube, all right? It's a better experience. It might be a little low res at the beginning, but you do get the wider view. You get to see the full paper, desk, all of that. And you get to interact with some really cool people. Special shout out to the patrons in chat today. We've got Svetlana, Latrice, solid as always. I feel like you guys are so consistent. Thank you so much. I'm sure Tom will show up. We had Lori showing up yesterday, which is awesome. Or oh, sorry, not Lori, Lynette. There she is. She's back. Lynette. My apologies, Lynette. I think you're the one who submitted the cake, right? If I remember correctly. All right. So, yeah, I think I'll, I'll do the... I'll do the resketch, at least one view. I'm just warming up with some ellipses here. Maybe I'll warm up with a car, just real quick. Just to get started, get them juices flowing and all. <clears throat> Struggle with drawing people in context to product. That's always tough. A balloon. That'd be interesting. Like a hot air balloon. Is that what you're, what you're thinking of? Some sort of hot air balloon. This will probably just be a generic warm up car for me. Maybe maybe just make it a Lexus, right? Do that, that Lexus grill on the front or something. Bow tie. I don't really particularly like Lexuses, but I guess some people do. Some people do. It's like a beefy American muscle Lexus. It's like if, if Lexus and Chevy had a baby, this is what it would be. Something like this. All right, well, I'll take your suggestions. You know, I go with the flow. Give the people what they want. Um, but one of these products, is it's kind of like this, I would say like an industrial imaging camera of some sort. It's probably what I would describe it as. So I could do that first. Yeah, 
Yeah, that's some weird, <clears throat> weird Lexus-shaped vehicle. Maybe do a couple, couple more here. I'm gonna start with the grill, which will be interesting. And kind of get some body side in. All right. Music provided by. Paul Sohi, designer, friend of mine. Again, if you're interested or know someone who would be interested in producing some music, do let me know. If you want to interact, YouTube is where you want to be. YouTube.com slash sketchaday.com. It's where I'll be answering all the things, taking requests and all that stuff. I mean, I'll glance at the Instagram, but I can't focus on everything, so it just makes it a little bit easier for me if I'm focusing on one thing. So if you want to catch a replay of the live, you can always become a subscriber on the YouTube. They're all archived there. so. If you missed the live on the Instagram, subscribe to my YouTube and you will not, hopefully, you will not be disappointed. I do a lot of these lives because I like hanging out with, with you peeps. Anyhow, some sort of Lexus style thing here. Well, yeah, I think I had told Svetlana I'd do like a Lada at some point. That'd be fun. on the back is like totally off but we'll keep it going keep it rolling yeah I've got a <laughs> I feel like I'm always saying the same thing but I do have a busy day ahead of me today so I'm gonna try and keep this tight as a stream let's do another Lexus style vehicle here some sort. I don't really know how Lexus body sides are actually. No idea. It's probably some car guy screaming at me right now. You messed it up! But it's all good. All good, fam. Oh yeah, I forgot I was speaking in my accent yesterday. <laughs> How did you guys like that? Curious. What did Ditulo want yesterday? Oh, he just wanted to say hey. Check in. We're working on some stuff. Me and a few designers. More to come when the time's right. You know how it is. Can't just like give you everything right now. That wouldn't be cool. Completely spoil the surprise. It'd be like spoiling Christmas, you know? Opening your presents before it's time. Yesterday, what did we do? Wait, what pencil do I use is asking Swastik. If you're ever curious, you can use this link in the chat. That will give you information on all the tools I use. I'm just gonna add some marker to, to these pages. Nothing serious. Just enough. Just enough of a kiss, 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 hug, hug on the paper. Make sure you catch any surfaces that are downward facing, for example, or far away. 
on the opposite side. Okay, so I think I'm going to kick things off with the resketch. It's like a little camera thing. I'll show you guys. <coughs> Whoa. So these two grays are supposedly the same. Look at that. Basic gray one and basic gray one. These are supposed to be the same color. Look at that. That's why I don't love chart packs. <laughs> Thanks, Fitlana. Yeah, see, this even looks purplish. Which I guess I could use a little bit. It's kind of cool, I guess. But yeah, it totally looks purplish. It's crazy. Supposedly the same gray. But that's what you get with chart packs. So, if you're looking to save money and buy chart packs, be aware you get to work with basically whatever color comes out of the marker and you just have to deal with it, okay? So once again, if you're on the Insta and you want to interact, the best place to be is on YouTube. That's where I'm responding to things, answering questions, giving high fives and hugs, career advice, dating advice, you name it. Let me know where you're watching from though. I am curious as always. I'm feeling like slow today. Like I don't want to draw fast necessarily. I'm feeling like slow. You know, just kind of take your time kind of drawing like this. Nice and easy. Get the reflections in. Keep it chill, keep it trill, if you will. So yeah, just having fun. Lucas, I'm going to turn on the accent again. I don't know if I'm going to do it. Sometimes get kind of distracting. This is Sketch Idea Live. Welcome to Liquid Fridays. <laughs> oh, I was just having fun. Actually, um, I found an old video yesterday as well of when I was in like a blues trio band thing in college. Maybe I'll share that with you sometime. Maybe. But it was something. It was something. I was the vocalist in that trio. I wonder if James is tuned in. If you're tuned in, James, say hey, what's up? James was my bandmate. He is a Patreon, Patreon as well. Thanks for the support. Go way back. All right, so those are my little warm-up sketches there. What's up, Mia? Mia's Product Designs, hello. Do you have a YouTube channel as well? Mithi, what's up? Ray Nilsson, hello. Oh, late lunch, nice. I'm gonna have a late lunch myself. I'm gonna treat myself to some sushi. What's up, Kyle? Kyle Ellison's here, hello, hello. SBD is asking, is it square one con? No, it's not. It is not square one con. All right, so this video, this this uh, sketch you guys on Instagram can't see is from uh, Nather. Nather? 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 Um, submitted this sketch, so I'm going to redo it. Kind of in my style. It's not a bad sketch. Um, there's some maybe construction issues. It's a very complex and detailed thing. It's like a It's like some sort of camera. So I'm gonna do some simplification and kind of work through um, The structure first because this will be my first time drawing it and then I'll do an overlay So that's what I'm gonna do here Okay, I could also go light till I get it right, but I think I'm gonna go with overlay. All right, 
And I'm going to try and sketch this in a different perspective. Um, I don't really have a way to do picture in picture with you guys, so I'll just have to switch in and out or edit it back in at some time. Yeah, this is like a early lunchtime margarita with nutmeg. It's pretty good. What is your beverage? What are you guys enjoying today? Your libation and whatnot. All right, so I'm going to try and do my interpretation of this shape. So the first thing I'm going to do is just block in kind of what I perceive these shapes to be. All right, just, just blocks. Okay. And the reason for this is I've never sketched one of these. I don't even know what it does. So I'm trying to just understand the geometry here as presented so I can give a fair representation of what this is. So there's like a little base, another piece that's offset. Um, I know I'm gonna have to move this already because <laughs> this, needs, this needs to be further on the page. So I'll just do this. How about I do this? I'm gonna move this over. I don't have any glue with me, but I'm going to try and hold this in place, and then I'll do an overlay. Lynette's just having water. Kyle is just listening to my blues. Oh, yeah, I forgot your friends on Facebook. Sing and sketch. I could do a sing and s or sketch and sing along for the channel, maybe. All right, so what I was saying is there's there's like this arm that attaches... Let's see. I'll just throw the ellipse in. So there's going to be something like this happening, right? On this sketch. So I'm just roughing it out. Ah, oh, looks like this is rounded here. I'm actually sketching on the paper behind as well. That's why it looks kind of weird. All right. And let's see, and now we have the camera module unit. Looks something like this. Just a little block here. So just remember, when in doubt, rough it out. Or when you know what, when you don't know what you're gonna do, you draw real rough. <laughs> when in doubt, rough it out, okay. Special thanks again to Paul Sohi for the beats, for the tracks. I had him, uh, actually paid him for these because I wanted some different tunes for the channel stuff I could own essentially not have to worry about so again if if you know someone or if you are someone who makes beats I'd be happy to trade or um, figure something out cash otherwise but definitely uh, hit me up Okay, so I'm just trying to block in some elements here and then I'll do kind of the final sketch over it. Just just getting a sense of placement, breaking things up. Looks like there's a, some sort of lens aperture here. So this base piece, for example, ellipse, 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 and another ellipse, connect these. Like so. So again, this just kind of helps me block things out. Um, if there's something like a chamfer, I can offset that ellipse and then carry this line up as my chamfer line, just like that. I know there's a chamfer on the base, but you're really not going to see that chamfer from my vantage point, so I'm not going to worry about it right here. But this is extended out it looks like extended out to the back almost so I'll draw this ellipse and then we will round out here okay so this is my just super rough sketch underlay I've got some offsets going on as well on this camera arm whatever is happening I guess this kind of turned into something a little bit fun, cool, very, very technical product sketch. Maybe I'll do the hot air balloon next. All right, so 
When in doubt, rough it out. Nithin says, welcome you with a joke. What do you, well. <laughs> What happened when the hot dog walked into the bar? Into a bar. What happened when a hot dog walked into a bar? Or what did the bartender say to the hot dog as it walked into the bar? Looks like you've got some exploded view type thing here. Um, one way to do that, we could project up, maybe have this piece. If we wanted to capture that. Welcome to the channel. This camera, it looked like it up on a gimbal, yes. It looked like it sit on a gimbal. I'm gonna try to figure out how to, how to really show it though. Yeah, so it looks like it's on some sort of gimbal. Um, again, just trying to just trying to stay true to the design that Nithin has provided. Looks like there's some sort of aperture here as well. I guess this is my second camera. We did a page of cameras yesterday. All right, so there's a lens here. Not sure what that is. Maybe a button. And, okay, looks like this actually, I can't, oh, okay, okay. So back here, there's a little knob actually that extends out, some sort of knob. So I'm gonna try and capture that. Okay, as this goes out. Looks like some sort of four-lobed thing. All right, so I can just map that out. All right, so now I've got my super rough sketch, okay? RG Cold World, you can send me a DM. Uh, you're on Instagram. If you're interested in business, whoever you are, you can always send me a DM. And then we'll discuss. All right, <clears throat> pardon me. Let's grab some marker paper, if I can find it. Ah, found it. This is our sketch from yesterday, one of them anyways. All right, so now I'm gonna take these two papers and carefully, the bartender says, we don't serve your kind here. That's what happens when the hot dog walks into the bar. Get it? <laughs> All right, so I put these two under. And if I'm very careful, or if you have tape, tape also works, you can tape these together. And now I can do an overlay. overlay. So Marth is asking, how long have I been doing YouTube? Um, I think since 2008-ish, so about 10, 12 years. I think it's around 2010, 2009 or 10, so um, definitely when I was married. I had the YouTube going. Actually, it turns out I've inspired a lot of people. One of my friends, I don't know if you've heard of Art for Kids Hub, but I'm not gonna write your logo, I'm just gonna put some text here. Um, Art for Kids Hub, they turned into a huge YouTube channel. And so I inspired him, and then he in turn inspired me to like step up my video production game. So that's kind of what I did back in, I don't know, maybe 2013, 2014, somewhere around there. Had to have been around 2014. But these things work both ways. You know, I'm, I think uh, there was someone on the channel last time, I don't remember who, it was Alex, I think. But they were gonna start their own channel. I was like, cool, man. 
good luck. It's tough out there, but good luck, and I hope hope you're able to figure it out, make it work. It is a lot of freaking work, tell you what. Okay, so here I'm redrawing, not overlaying. Okay, so just using what I have below more or less as a guide. So I don't have to think about all the perspective stuff. It's already there. Just sketching loosely. Okay, keep that loose and free. Just like that. Looks like we have some pill shaped thing on the side here. I'm gonna add marker to this one. This will be a, f a fun sketch to add some marker to. All right, so once again, if you are curious about my materials, you can always check out the link here in the channel. I'll just go ahead and pin it to the chat. I'm getting a lot of questions about different pens I'm using. This is a paper made flare. So if you want more information on that, check out sketchaday.com slash stuff. Okay, or that link I just posted in the YouTube. You can just click on that. It'll take you to a page. I worked really hard on that page too. A lot of photos, information. Knowledge is power, fam. Tell you what, knowledge is power. So if you want to get right with your sketching, start reading. All right, just keeping it loose. Now I can sketch in a bit of this space. You guys know the difference between three point and two point perspective, right? I assume. I was teaching a student yesterday and they didn't really know the difference. I like to think of myself as a good blend of a technical but also emotive sketcher. I think the fundamentals are important. It's important to understand what's happening and why it's happening, but not necessarily be constrained to all that. Anyhow, just curious how you guys are feeling about your perspective skills, chops. We're gonna do a hot air balloon after this for Svetlana and Art. I'm not sure who requested if it's Svetlana or Art. They're so unified that it's impossible to tell who's who. It's kind of cool. All right, so like I said, kind of taking my time with, with this sketch, trying to get it right. It's a little bit more technical than I typically do or like to do, but a challenge is a challenge. So thank you, Nathan. Sorry it took so long. This was sent in like two weeks ago. So last week I was touring, driving around the place, trying to see a bunch of stuff. So appreciate you and your patience, guys. Uh, let's see, Samar says, I've been learning from Scott Robertson's book. He was actually on the stream yesterday for a hot minute. Maybe he'll join again this morning, we'll see. But uh, I've met Scott before in life, great dude. Some people you meet, again, I won't name names, but there are some designers I've met, and I'm just like, oh my gosh, you are, you're in love with yourself. But he's not one of those people. He's just very humble, very approachable. I'll actually listen and, and sit, and that, that means a lot, especially for a young designer or someone who is, frankly, just trying to figure out, find out their place in all this design or illustration stuff. So I appreciate him taking the time, certainly. I think my proportion on this arm is off, but I'll just add kind of a part here. It should help. Up a little bit. There we go. 
So I'll just do something like that. Okay, so now I have my main camera sketch. There's my underlay, right? So when in doubt, rough it out, guys. Boom. Stickers available in the store, by the way. When in doubt, rough it out. That's what we just did. So now I can change my mind if I want my background to be maybe a bit more central like this, even plan out a little bit of rim light I'm going to have here, kind of hover over, put the rest of my background in place. I don't know what color to make this. I'm assuming it's mostly gray, but you never know. Nathan, any any input or feedback? Your sketch is mostly blue, blue lines. So I don't really know what color to make this. So let me know. Or you guys can give me some, some feedback. What do you think the color should be? In the meantime, I'm just going to work on the line weight. Okay, I'm just going to work on the line weight presence on the page, kind of get our main outline in here. Alright, so again, if you're making suggestions, YouTube's where you want to be, that's where I'm paying attention, alright? the YouTubes. I'm thinking red and gray right now, or some sort of blue or teal and gray. I could do yellow and gray, but definitely a gray of some sort. And I think it's some sort of imaging device. I'm just not sure what kind of imaging device, what it does. If it's, is it like an infrared camera? Is it some sort of... Yeah, I don't know. I really don't know. It actually has a Hector Silva vibe, I will say that. It has a little bit of a Hex vibe. Alright, I'm going to go with yellow for the body, and I think gray for the rest or parts of it. I haven't even tried out these chart pack yellows yet, so let's see, let's see which one's the brightest here. Alright, I'm going to roll with this. If I mess up, it's all good. There's always a fix, right guys? There is always a fix. Welcome to Sketch A Day Live on Liquid Friday. We're about halfway done here. Svetlanas and Art suggested a hot air balloon of some sort. So I'll do a quick scene of a hot air balloon. If you have one marker, all you have to do really is just be careful of where you apply your color. You can get your color to, to really stretch. All right. Um, let's see. Maybe this little cap here. I'll make yellow. Make that yellow as well. Something like that. Yeah, this gray is so freaking weird. Okay, let's see. I've got all right. I've got some other basic grays I can try. So this is marker paper now, FYI. No longer using printer paper. But yeah, I feel like chart packs are just so unpredictable when it comes to color. If I if I want predictability, I use my Copic markers for sure. Because those I can I can take out of any set, any time, and I know the color will work if it's the right code. And I don't even have to think about it. Don't even have to think about it. Right. So that's kind of nice. Paul, cool it on the sexy sounds. Jesus. Just kidding. Just cover your children's ears and eyes if they're watching. 
All right, let's see. The YouTube chat went quiet. Hold on. You guys, you guys really just wheeled into silence just like that. Um, okay, welcome. All right, this next set is from Dan Spinnerty. Another contact I had. Okay, so the chat froze. The chat froze. That's interesting. Um, yeah, I know. Um, I know the art for kids people. They they don't live too far from me actually, and we went to the same school. He used to actually design cars for Ford. I don't know if you knew that. And he worked on, I think it was, I don't remember which version of the Mustang, but it was one of the Mustangs he worked on. And he was just like, yeah, I'm tired of doing cars, so I'm going to go do something else. So that's what he did. He just decided, you know what, let's go, let's just go do something else. He saw my channel and decided to start his own, and he really hit a niche. Um, but also inspired me to like... Step it up, take it seriously, be consistent, all that good stuff um, that I'm trying to do. He was kind of the inspiration for that. So there you go. By Sunday. So if you have topics ahead of time you want to see, cool. That works. If you don't have topics, that's also cool. No worries. We'll figure it out. Sci fi Sunday is when I do like robots, spaceships, sci fi guns, tanks, aliens, whatever. It's more of a more of an illustration show or exercise. So you're welcome to tune in for that. That'll be around the same time as today. around 9 or 10 Pacific, depending on when I decide to get my butt out of bed. That's when it'll be. The, the chart packs, I should also say, they, they kind of paint on your paper a bit like watercolor almost. Because they're just so juicy. They're like juicy, juicy markers. They're not... They don't feel like Copics um, or Prismacolor or Ohuhu or whatever it is you're used to using. If it's alcohol based, they feel different. If you're working in a small room like me, you want to make sure you have a window or door open at least. I'm just going to go ahead and sign this ahead of time. Um, what is I like? Um, it really just depends. I feel like sushi is a lot like pizza. I've never had bad pizza. I've had okay pizza. But I've never really had bad pizza. Have you guys had bad pizza? So 
so I haven't, I haven't really had bad sushi. I'm not super picky. I'm not super picky about it. All right, I'll have to come back in with my white pen on this one to get that. Yeah, so this is like a cool gray seven. I have no idea what it's gonna look like. Cause chart pack. You just you just never know. It's like surprise. Surprise I'm green. Or surprise I'm purple. And you're just like what? You're supposed to be in the same color family, like what? It's weird. It's all very weird. On the topic of pizza, is there any Jamaica Sunday? I mean, I could. I'm gonna add some texture to the front here. I don't know why. It's starting to feel like a little bit of an underwater type product for some reason. Maybe it's the yellow. It's, in it's interesting how colors can affect how we perceive things as well. Just a little texture here. Cool. Industrial design, what should you do? You should just apply for a program, work your ass off, and make the most of it. That's what I would do. That's what I did. I switched from a math major, mathematics guys, to industrial design. But I knew that if I wasn't the best at what I did, I wasn't going to get a job. So that's what I tried to do, just be the best. And you know, sketching was a nice landing place for me, but I do a lot more than that now. So my art show that I'm, I've been working up to with my lamps, that is going to go live next week. So I have a lot of work to do. If you're wondering why I haven't been posting as much, all of that stuff, I've got to get ready for that. I'm going to do a driveway socially distanced art show for myself. And then also publish the show online. So watch out for that. That'll be coming. Okay. And you'll see what I've been up to. All my quote unquote free time. Minus travel, of course. This is Sketch Today Live. Thanks for joining once again. I am currently re sketching this sketch from Monsieur. Wait a minute. There we go. <laughs> Nari. Oh, I forgot the name now. This is terrible. Anyhow, I'm re sketching this product. You can see it on the YouTube. If you're watching on the Instagram, you will not see it. Pineapple or no pineapple? Definitely pineapple. The marrow, let's see. I wonder how, how a futuristic hologram waste watch could be drawn. Maybe, maybe come back Sunday, remind me, and I'll see about it, okay? How about that? How about that? Cash me outside. Hey Svetlana Art, I've got a question for you. Let me know if you're in the chat and then I'll ask you the question. Let me know if you're still watching. This is a Pilot Super Color Marker. I got this in LA. Actually, when I was competing against Danny C in the Middlecott Sketch Battle Sketch Competition, and I was like, I need a fat black marker. So I went to this store called Carpe Diem. Well, it wasn't called Carpe Diem then. I don't remember what it's called now. So I go there, and they have this fat black marker. Oh, hello. Oh, Cloppy, you're the other half of the Svetlana art team. Now I get it. This makes sense. This makes sense. So I've always been fascinated with Russia. Should I come visit one day? And if I were to visit, what advice do you have for me? That's my question. I've been fascinated by Russia. I want to visit one day. I've heard things, but I want to hear firsthand from you guys if I should visit as a black man 
And if I do, what should I see? What should I do? If it's too long an answer, you can message me later. That's fine too, but I'm legit curious. I've always, always wanted to go. Always. Don't ask me to explain it, but I've just always wanted to go. So, I am curious. What should I do? What would I see? What should I avoid? Alright, so this is my version of the sketch. And again, this is by Nather. 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 I'm not really sure how to say the name, but there it is. This reflex camera of sorts. I decided to add some color to it, keep it kind of loose. Junior, well, portfolio question, PDF or website? Um, from what I hear, website, I personally don't care, but apparently some people do. Very snobbish about it, so website. My portfolio right now is a PDF, but I'm from a different generation. And I hate doing portfolios, period. Like, I just hate it. Not my favorite thing. I can do it, and I know what to look for. I just hate doing it. All right, so there's my version of Raven. Which liquid do I have? I have a margarita that I made with nutmeg included. All right. So it's like a, I don't know, a, a play on a screwdriver a little bit. Uh, let's see, screwdriver with nutmeg anyways. All right, I figure if you're drawing a hot air balloon, you have to at least consider the landscape as well. So let's start there. I'm gonna do some sort of, some sort of landscape, you know, sky, whatever. And then we can draw the hot air balloon. We'll make a scene out of it. We'll make a scene out of it, guys. All right, maybe two silhouettes in here. Two people in love, Svetlana and Art, in their hot air balloon. One, two, three. One, two, three. That's right. Alright, I feel like drawing one more thing after this, so, because this won't take very long. This will just kind of be more of a, a colorful scene of some sort. You know, maybe some, maybe some clouds here and there. One, two, three. Landscape patches, maybe some tiny homes on this grassland, whatever, right? We'll just move quickly here. Baby stroller, I could do that. I could do a baby stroller. I'll do a baby stroller last. How about that? Thank you for the suggestion. Much appreciated. If you are watching on the Instagram, your stream will be over soon. All right. If you're interested in technical uh, details about sketching, I think I'm going to make this 
blue and pink and blue or something. Um, you can always go to my YouTube if you're curious about a specific topic, whether it be ellipses, perspective, just FYI. Hit search and then you'll be able to find what you need. Oh, okay. Good good to hear, Svetlana. I'll have to hit you up maybe uh, in DMs. I, I've been wanting to go for a while. I've had people say, don't go to Russia. Um, but I'd love to go after this whole COVID thing is over, if it's ever over. Maybe even next summer. We'll see. But if you guys wouldn't mind being my guide or hosting or sharing or whatever I'd be happy to that'd be that'd be a life-changing experience for me okay so this balloon happens to be the pink and blue balloon I guess it's like the trans flag balloon but this is what it is here I didn't really ask Svetlana and Art what color they wanted their balloon to be but hey it's all good I'm going to try and do like a sunrise, sunset type thing. All right, something like that. Just kind of pay attention to these colors. Let's see. I need like a, I need a wash. So one thing you can do if you don't have an actual marker, is you can get some like cotton swabs. And I don't have a binder clip, so I'm gonna have to freehand this. Yeah, that would be fun. That'd be really fun. So I'm just putting some ink on this and then now I can kind of wash. All right, just like that. I guess now it looks a little green, but it's all right. Then I could either paint this or I think I will paint it if I can find my paintbrush. Just because it would be fun. Well, let's do the ground first. So for the ground, I'm just gonna do brown tones here and there. Keep it loose, keep it free. Someone just rang my doorbell, I have no idea who it is. It's not an emergency because this is sketch a day live and I ain't stopping. Thank you, Svetlana. All right, so now I'm just going to take some white and then kind of just apply it to these clouds. So just gouache. Cool thing about gouache is it is opaque, so I can kind of just paint it wherever I want. I want to 
reclaim some white somewhere. Kind of just do that. So strategically, what I probably should have done here is actually plan for the yellow and green. Just anticipate it a bit more. It would have been easier. I'm going to have to go wash this guy out too. Put some of the white on the ground. Ideally yellow, but this works too, just as a little bit of a highlight. Okay, I gotta rinse this out, I'll be right back. Um, once again, if you're watching on Instagram, your stream will probably be over in a few seconds. So if you wanna catch more, hit me up on the YouTube, youtube.com slash sketchaday.com, all right? Be right back. Okay, I wasn't really prepared for prepared for painting, but it's all good. You can also use this paint marker if you want. These are also nice. some more black like some more line weight here and then I'll call it good quick sketch landscape illustration whatever right here for you guys how about we use this brush pen this is a Kuretake brush pen the nice thing about it is I can get some nice thick to thin it has a nice quality to it as well some vegetation some happy little trees here and there guys happy little grasses give some texture to the basket here into whatever mechanism is keeping the balloon in the air But yeah, you get these nice thick to thin lines from these pens, so I really do appreciate that. There we just have a quick, quick sketch, impressionistic or expressive of some landscape. Black Ross makes a return, that's right. Black Ross coming at you live on this Liquid Friday. What's up? If you do become a Patreon, by the way, Patreon, I will send you a free sticker. You can pick which one you want. Um, Black Ross, When In Doubt, Rough It Out, or Sketch Every Damn Day. So, your choice. Appreciate the support, as always. Patreon.com slash Sketch A Day. There's always more you could do, but... Sometimes you just gotta know when to hit, hit stop and say, okay, enough's enough. After this, I'll call it good. All right, Instagrammers, peace out. I think your stream time is up.
All right. Okay, so let's do a quick stroller. That was the request. I forget who. But there was a request for a stroller. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. So again, if you figure out your form, it makes it a little easier to do all the things. I had, I have kids, um, so this is a little bit easier for me to kind of figure out. I'm just throwing some lines in here to kind of start. So let's get some wheels in place. At this point, you can kind of decide, all right, how is my stroller going to be different or whatever? Kind of like this almost cage slash unibody approach to the stroller. All right, double wheels. Double wheels everywhere. I'm just gonna do this one in one shot though, all right? So there's our little seat, and maybe there's some sort of kind of shroud here. Should we have a sunshade in? Probably. Because you don't want your baby to like... to be all sun scorched. That wouldn't be nice. Let's get some handles in here. So, if I don't know the structure of something necessarily, I can do kind of just a quick wireframe and then draw on top of that. Kyle's asking, brush pen question, do you use them for general use during sketching or for specific uses? Um, that's a good question. For, for this stream, <laughs> when I'm streaming, it's usually like whenever I feel like it. But realistically, it's more like, am I doing more of an illustration or a design sketch? Design sketching, I tend to just stick to my paper made flair, honestly. It's kind of my go-to. And then illustration is when I break out the brush pens and all that stuff. So. All right, so I just have this idea. Maybe there's like, maybe there's a seat on the inside of this cradle and you could pull the seat out. It's not a novel idea per se, but maybe you have like a car seat with, yeah, definitely a car seat, something like that. And it's got your head pad and Headrest here, maybe some sort of side pad, cushion, going back. Something like that. You could remove this whole thing if you wanted to. Another type of sketch that would be good to kind of overlay as well, just because you may not necessarily know exactly what you're doing as you're doing it. I do like this cantilevered look, however. So I'll keep that going. A little bit of a footrest here. And yeah, maybe there is some sort of canopy. Sketch that in, just keep it loose. Sometimes I don't care if, especially if something's functional and meant to be optional, I don't really care. Now I can maybe add, okay, maybe there's a pivot point here for this 
kind of canopy thing. But I was saying, I don't necessarily mind if I sketch over something that's already there because it kind of shows the function or what's happening. What's up, Tom? Late arrival, but it's all good. You know, you've been distracted with the advanced design group. It's all good. I'm just giving you crap. You do you, man. Tom is one of the best fans, patrons, patrons. If you're looking for a fan, hit up Tom. <laughs> no, but on the real, he's a solid dude. Super solid. So thank you. I haven't seen Matt in forever, though. I'll have to check in, make sure he's all right. I should mention as well, if you ever want to purchase a sketch from the stream, that is certainly an option. Just hit me up after the stream. Slide into them DMs, works just fine. A few of you have before. I think Luca has, I know Matt has, Svetlana and Art have also. So, appreciate the support, but letting you know that is also a possibility for those interested. All right, it's so maybe something like this. I like the, like I said, I like the cantilever here. Almost like the seat is attached here, but there's nothing underneath, just these legs. I don't know how this thing folds up either if it falls up, just FYI. I guess I'll go with yellow and gray as a theme again. I kind of like picking the one color and just rolling with it. So we'll go with yellow and gray. Ooh, big news if everything works out. Catting shoes. That sounds heavy, man. Good luck with that. Thank you, Tom. Much love to you. Much appreciated. Let me know if you need anything, feedback, critique, whatever. Um, I know you signed up for a special tier on the Patreon, so I appreciate the support, but if you need that help, let me know. I'm happy to take some time out and look at your stuff. So... Well, that's because Tom's a super fan, okay? So if you're interested in the same, let me know. But happy to take a look, brother. All right, so we got our yellow there. Maybe the seat's yellow. this section I don't know what the material or color is necessarily but hatching will help me create some separation here some dots for texture and then a deeper yellow for shadow with some gray. Maybe this footrest as well. Frame. You get the idea. 
least I hope you do. All right, so this is my last sketch for today. I will be back tomorrow. I know it's Saturday, but I will be back tomorrow and Sunday. So Sunday, if you have any suggestions for sci-fi themes, happy to kind of take a look. Incorporate those if you want to go aliens, if you want to go vehicles, if you want to go equipment, products, all of that's fair game. I think one week we actually did to Svetlana and Art's suggestion. We did uh, futuristic gramophone. So products aren't off limits for sure. I know we've done futuristic vehicles, bikes, living spaces. We've done space travel. So whatever comes to mind, Sci-Fi Sunday, Saturday, just kind of open, fair game. Thanks for those who submitted sketches or sketch <laughs> to redraw but if you're interested in that kind of thing let me know hit me up you can always email me spencer at sketchaday.com just let me know hey I'm interested in having you redraw this I'd be happy to kind of take a look so yeah just let me know Alright, as always, I love you guys. Thank you for the support. If you're looking for other ways to support, that information is in the frame of the video as well as the video description. Venmo, PayPal, you can check out the store. Sketchaday.com slash store or just sketchaday.com will put you right there. Check it out. Let me know. Or rather, hopefully you find something that interests you as well. There you go, Chris. That's just one. I mean, I could probably do this a bunch of other times and come up with some other ideas, but just one idea for a stroll, right? Just one idea. One idea, one thought. We also redid this sketch by Nather. Nather. Fetlan and Art suggested a balloon of some sort. And, oh, here's the roughed out sketch as well. I forgot to show you guys that. And we also sketched some cars, just as a warm up, real quick, light gray marker and pen. All right, thank you guys. Thanks so much for hanging out. It's been super fun. As always, I'm gonna finish my beverage. I've only made it like halfway through, so I'm gonna finish this. Have my sushi, have a fantastic Friday work on my project i'm so excited for next week and showing you what i've been up to and why i've been absent here and there so um i'll either do a video tour or maybe perhaps a live something but i will definitely cue you into that um and point you to uh, that experience so really excited to share that with you if you oh i was on the wrong camera um Again, if you want to support, all that information is in the frames and so forth. I will be enjoying my sushi, not pizza today, because um, I worked my ass off and ran for my life, so I'm going to reward myself. But if you're interested in ways to support, all those links are provided. But most importantly, if you learn something, share something. I 100% believe in that. The more you share, the more you learn. Um, of course, we all help each other, but share the channel, share a link. If it's your first time, like and subscribe, hit alerts so that next time I go live, you will know and you won't miss out. All right. Thanks, guys. Happy Friday. I hope you have a good one and take care. And I'll see you next time right here on Sketch Day. Peace out.